again, citizens. It is me, your good, good friend. Genetic, genetic, genetic blend. <laughs> I have problems. Okay, so if you haven't guessed yet, this is a response to Dr. Metropolis's top five movies. It was pretty hard to narrow this down to five movies, but uh, I was able to do so. Uh, and then once I narrowed it down to five movies, I had trouble figuring out what order I wanted them in. I, this is where I'm going with. Number five, quite possibly the best horror film ever, The Shining. Number four, and if this is going to be an all-time favorite list, I have to put Raiders of the Lost Ark on the, on the list. Because uh, back in the day, I had the hat and I had the whip and everything. Number three goes to Glengarry Glenn Ross. One of my favorite writers is David Mamet, and this is uh, one of my favorite screenplays of all time by anyone, Glengarry Glenn Ross. Number two goes to Pulp Fiction, and my number one favorite movie of all time is Godfather Part Two. That that may be the perfect movie. Every scene in that movie is is absolutely amazing. I have to give some honorable mentions though. Uh, it was really tough, like I said, to get that top five, but uh, there are a couple other movies I want to mention. I would say number six, uh, this was really tough to leave out of the top five, but I didn't want to have two Quentin Tarantino movies in my top five. Um, so number six is uh, Reservoir Dogs. Number seven would be Blade Runner. That's a classic, classic movie. Number eight is Goodfellas. Scorsese is obviously one of my heroes. Number nine is a movie that, um, if you haven't seen this, Put this at least toward the top of your list. A movie called Brazil. And number 10, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That's a movie that I cannot watch enough times. It's just absolutely hysterical. All right, so that's about it. See you soon. Ciao.